Go ahead, Leonard. Oh, who wants to turn around and be bored for about 15 minutes? <laughs> okay, now everybody remembers that uh, when you, especially when you're broke, like my family was when we were younger. Or you, yeah, you're probably still broke now. Just like, well, life hasn't changed. And uh, when me, me and the missus were married, it's uh, we were just struggling and got the first 64. You just go down to the grocery store, pick up a Commodore magazine. Inside this thing. There's a whole bunch of games and productivity software. You can just sit there for, oh, I don't know, three or four hours Ooh, wow. and type it all in. And next thing you know, you got a game, and it's pretty, uh, pretty good. Some of these, uh, some of these games just ain't got a whole lot of hippographics to it. I mean, everybody else here has got some pretty uh, zippity doo dah stuff there, <laughs> and. Uh, so I just brought a small games disc of just a small collection of what I think you all might be interested in in uh, playing. And uh, I got uh, just Bagger and Stop Market. I think everybody's got a copy of Stop Market. Space Gallery, that's, that's a fast-paced game. That's real fast. When, when you wipe out the aliens, they just show right back up. Mm -hmm. And uh, Laser Chess, that is a revamp of the original chess game. I mean, you, mm, it's gonna be fun to play. You gotta turn around and play it with somebody else. And uh, I should load that. I don't know if I want to. I ain't want to. And Chain Reaction, that's, uh, that's a fun game. Sleuth, if you like thinking. It is a detective game. And uh, it's a, you know, what, what, oh, 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 oh. I'm having a senior moment, just say <laughs> A text game? Uh, yeah, it's a tech type-in game, and you just got to figure out who the murderer is. And there's, there's no score, it's just, uh, just wow, all right. that person's the killer, cool. Um, Sam and Ed, now, Sam, Sam and Ed was very popular at my church with all the kids. Um, mm. Your characters are two basketballs. And the whole idea is to get into, naturally, the basket. There's just one small problem. The little legs on these basketballs can't jump into the basket, hmm. into the hoop. So you gotta bounce off the other character. And before you know it, I mean, you can turn around and dominate this game and somebody will just be sitting there and it's just you just bounce, your, bounce the ball all over the place, bounce each other all over the place. Um, it's cute, but it was very, very popular back with the kids in, uh, in church. Uh, Miami Ice. You are driving a dragster in Miami, but there is a uh, freeze over. And so you're trying to put your dragster into the garage that is provided, and it, and it changes levels. It gets harder as it goes on. Wasn't that from Compute Magazine? Oh, uh, there's Compute and Run and... Uh, that's about the only two that showed up at the grocery store shelf. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that's a that's fun one. Jewel grab. Well, we'll move on. <laughs> Tank ambush. Tank ambush is uh, you just basically blow up the enemy before they blow you up. And... Uh, and they're coming at you three, four at a time in a circle. You can go around with your turret and uh, just blast them away. And I lose at that one all the time. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a real skilled individual. The only reason I'm going to load Omnicron is because there's a little trick to it. And the trick is that when you load it, it won't run. And uh, the only way to get it run, oh, don't you argue with me. The only way to get it to run, you're arguing, computer, don't do it. There it goes. The only way to get it to run is to reload Omnitron again, and it comes right on up. Huh. Wow. So, well, that was the way it was when, uh, when we typed it in. Do I don't you have know to type in a system command to get it to run? No. You don't have to type in a system command. You have to do it two times. That's mm -hmm. hard. Yeah, just just the one Omnicron. 
Yeah. Now, I remember playing this at the arcade. Uh -huh. And, uh, yeah, it back to the arcade version it's had a little trackball on it. You're oh. Just zoom, zoom and shoot and kill and name and disembowel and do a whole bunch of stuff. See, now that the problem, the program was supposed to run right there. So you have to load it again. You have to load huh. Omnicron only, not Omnicron now, but Omnicron only. You gotta load that one back. And then my drive wants to argue with me. Oh, excuse me a minute, that's my medicine. I gotta take drugs. Yeah. So you just There it is. Wow. See it comes right on up. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and watch this thing for a minute. You don't mind, do you? I can edit. <laughs> Robert is skilled, ladies and gentlemen. That is really, really good. Could cut out all of this and see <laughs> just like that. Just like that. But, uh, Are you zoomed up on the five inch screen? Of course. <laughs> good. Yeah, but is he getting a good video? Is it generally? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you put a little like a bottom of the video twenty minutes later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah. This is, this will all be ticket. There it there. is, Omnicron. See it all it all loads once you turn around and load that's load that good. one program back up again. I mm, no, I'm a rookie. And this the fun part of it is after all these years of this thing being loaded up, it's lost its sound. There it is. Okay. See that ain't no sound. I don't know why I didn't do it. Now, Gabriel, when he was huh. in the hospital, it, figured it out. It lost the sound. It lost the sound. It sounds like it's still clicking. Hmm. No, I think they're clicking. Oh. It's <laughs> no, I could, I, could hear, I could hear the sound. I could hear the sound very dimly in the SS. Mm -hmm. Maybe the, the SIG chip is failing? Mm, no, I turned around and loaded this on the big computer back at home, and it's the same thing. No, I think this was a vector game in the arcade. No, I don't remember playing it in the arcade. Vector. So I'm gonna shut that off. That's nuts. Very good. Show us another one, Leonard. You want to show another game? Yes. Show. Uh, you you mentioned a whole bunch of them. Well. Well, you well, have to turn on your computer first. You mentioned a, a whole bunch of them, but run those things. We want to see. Well, I don't know if you guys want to see all of them. Well, the the, the interesting ones. What about that that one that was tank ambush or whatever? Tank ambush. I want to. You want to see that? Okay. We're gonna take a look at it. Tank ambush. Let's see. I ain't got much to show. There it is. There it is, okay. Mm -hmm. There oh. it is. Oh. oh, there we are. You can raise your turn. Oh, okay. So it's a little bit different mm -hmm. because you have to. You have to shoot at me. You have to figure out the elevation of the gun. Mm -hmm. Don't you shoot me, Dad, man. I'll blow you up. Yeah, you typed this one in. That's not a assembly language. You're right now. You're right now. You're right now. That's pretty good for it. Yeah, some of these games are really good for type ins, but. I, I like the, the, the scrolling background in the back. Exactly. That, that has a modern feeling. Uh huh. Just like it said, and writes it directly into memory. Right, hmm. just, yeah, the I haven't played these games in years. But I mean, all the Commodore games that you talked to were pretty much in Commodore anyways, because it was all people posts. Right? It was all used for the chip and the bench, too, to draw uh, sprites and stuff. So it's all just like a whole bunch of people posts. So, that's uh, Tank Ambush. Yeah, the earlier one. Some of the earlier What do you want to see now, Robert? The, I forget the names of the other games. Well, let's take a look. Just one, one more, and then you can talk about your books. Yep. 
Well, I appreciate everybody's patience with me. No problem. We're waiting for the C64, I mean, the SX64, without any kind of fast load. Yeah, I got a story about that. <laughs> without, I got a story about without that. Without fast load? <laughs> well, I, I'll turn around and tell it after we do one more. <laughs> um, let's see. Ah, uh, Space Gallery. This, this, okay, yes, yeah, Space this Gallery. Fast yes, a Space Gallery. Space Gallery. Here we go. Yeah, I got a disc here for a dollar, um, just because I need to, you know, I just want something for the sure. disc, if you don't mind. Of course. You know, I appreciate it. And that disc is a copy of everything that you've got there? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Without having to type it in. Yep. Mm -hmm. The missus and I, the missus at the time and I already did. Huh. I don't remember this one. Wow. Now, chances are likely what you can do is find your uh, instructions on the internet. Your job is to kill the aliens before they kill you. Yep. I'm actually doing right. better. There, I got a bonus. <laughs> Son of a gun! Don't you dare. And I'm dead, Jim. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, Robert turned around and told me, don't you bring that five disc program at back. You already talked about it for three years. Duh. Yes, you did. No, I never said that again. Yes, you did. You told me, no, 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 no. I never said that again. Besides, there was a 50 minute video on the internet. <laughs> About that. Well, they can. If you, if you use the big team, and you just like say, okay, this part goes here, that part goes there, right? It just redraws it. You can have a very tight, basically, room, and all it's doing is reading the joystick. And very good. Right very good. All right, guys. One dollar to turn around and take a few copies off my hands. Now, before I get into the books, let me tell you about the. Uh, SX-64s. Oh, the SX-64s, okay. All right. Somehow, my house has turned into a uh, homeless shelter for Commodore SX-64s. Um, this one here is the one I bought from you guys for $25. That, oh, was, that was, a, was before the pandemic. A raffle prize from a long time ago. No, 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 no. Nope. I bought this directly from Dick. Oh, from Dick itself. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing he did when I went to the, hey, I got your computer. When I, okay, right there, right. I gave him $25, he gave me that, what the heck? Okay. <laughs> but I got uh, three of them that Robert was nice enough to uh, ship up north and get repaired. And then uh, I got this one. And uh, just recently, I uh, picked up a whole bunch of stuff, which I brought with me, the free magazines. Um, Somebody can have that. I don't know. Well, I'll take that. You want that? It has to be oh, yeah. repaired. Taking. Oh, that's flat. I don't have to fix the. You don't have to fix capacitors? <laughs> Taking. Get him out of All my right. house. I'll get to it. You'll get to it. But uh, now I turn around, brought one, and it's covered in mud. So I'm just like, did you use this in a cow pasture? I mean, what are you doing? But it's covered in mud and it won't boot, so Robert's going to be nice enough to run it down to, or run it up. Up, up oh, to Ray Carlson. Nice. Run it up and see if we can get her started. So, I don't know, maybe I'll just, then, and uh, I'm just collecting SX-64s. And uh, I, I've been asked to sell one or two and I'm just like, well, let me talk to the kids first because they're a little bit smarter about business transactions than dad. Now, on to the books. I have uh, um, I've uh, been uh, collecting articles. In fact, um, you want to read some of my stuff? It's in the interface. And what uh, happened here in Run Stop Restore? You get a good shot of that, Roy. Mm -hmm. It happened here in Run Stop Restore, tenth anniversary edition. Is as you can tell. If you want to pass that around, please. Um, as you can tell, they put a PS2 on the front cover. 
And um, I, I uh, sent him an email, and I said, what are you doing? This is not a Commodore 64, 128, nothing. And they said to me, we have never seen a Commodore or know what it is. And I asked them, then why did you take on the project? They never answered that. So I ended up with this book. I've received more flack from uh, yeah, Commodore. In fact, that book's the one that's been most flamed oh. on Commodore. Like, well, bad advertisements is just good advertisement. Right. Ask Monica Lewinsky. Oh. oh. <laughs> and um, I've had, I've answered um, about five interviews on this book, and uh, it's always the same question: Why is there not a Commodore in the front? Now, if you look in in towards the back of that book. Um, there is a picture of me with my kids, and they are actually holding a Commodore 64. So there hopefully is a little bit of a patch job to their screw-up. And negotiating the contract with Author House, somehow I'm only getting 2% of the sales. That's a bad negotiation. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So... After the faux pas with Author House, I uh, talked to a friend of mine who published uh, books on the internet, and he found uh, KDP, uh, Kindle Direct Publishing, and he looked at me and he said, Leonard, they publish for free. And I said, free? $3,000. Mm. So... I'm just like, I like free. Free is good. <laughs> and all they want over at Amazon KDP is 40%. Uh, no, no, no. No, no, because uh, they're doing all the work. Mm. Yeah, than now, yeah. now, 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 <laughs> I, I have to do the formatting. And my, my friend Tim, who is not here, he does all my covers. I'm not going to let, mm -mm, not after that. And um, they did all my covers, and Tim did a real nice mm, job there. Yes, very nice. Um, Commodore print right there. Now, all these books are uh, basically short uh, little snippets. I, I don't write about the history of the Commodore because we all know it. I don't write little how-to books of use to Commodore because we all know it. Um, these basically are little stories of me and what I've run across using the Commodore, um, writing programs of my own and the frustrations that I've come across. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's really neat. But this, this one here, I'm going to take that off a minute. This one here um, is my best sell. And I don't know why. And I worked on this one thinking it would be my best seller, and it ain't, it ain't, it's not doing too good. But uh, this one is my best seller, and the best story in this one that everybody loves, everybody I've talked to, is Raiders at Midnight. <laughs> Raiders at Midnight is a story of my cats in the middle of the night destroying my Commodore 64 set. <laughs> destroying it! And it's, I'm telling you what, <laughs> that was a, that's, that's just one of my adventure-like stories that I write up and stuff. Um, I am selling these for $10 a copy. I've got more um, under there. Um, the game's just $1 a copy, please. <laughs> and... Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I, oh, shoot. I'm get, I've got a new one. I'm planning on coming out. Uh, Robert and, uh, and Fresno Commodore User Group has helped me a lot in making it better. Um, Robert's corrected a lot of my uh, redneck. And um, I don't know. Uh, 
It, it's, a, it's a lot better. It, run, it reads a lot smoother. But the one thing I asked was please don't get rid of my redneck in these books. Because somehow, even across these now, Australia absolutely loves these books. Huh, interesting. And I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's because they never heard a person talk like me before. <laughs> I've, I've had uh, my cousin who uh, got a copy recently, she said she can hear me talking. <laughs> she can hear me talking in these books. So I'm just like, well, that's a new one. And um, so uh, I got a new one planning coming out March 13 of next year. Um, it was going to be called 8-Bit Gambit, but Robert and the rest of FCO turned around and said, nah, that's, <laughs> that doesn't say Commodore to me. So it's going to be, it's been retitled to Load Run. And it's going to be coming out March 13. It's another compilation book. These are compilation books. And there's, there's so advanced stories in the interface. And um, it'll be out March 13. Um, it's uh, got a lot of old stories in there I wrote way back when uh, the Commodore Users Group of Kansas City was running. And, uh, so there's no more user group meetings in Kansas City? No, they, um, I was the last president because everybody who was president before says, I ain't shutting it down. It's just like, I would be sitting at the library, the Kansas City, Missouri Public Library on Main, and it's meeting time, and I'm the only one there. <laughs> so I just set up my Commodore. I mean, we, we've rented it for, or uh, booked it for an hour, so I'm just like, I'm going to play a game. <laughs> so I sit there for an hour and play a game and then go home. But uh, yeah, it went defunct. I guess that's the right word. It just went down. Uh, they gave the entire treasury to Children's Mercy Hospital, Kansas City. Um, because my, uh, my son, at you know, the age of 11, had uh, leukemia. And uh, he's, he. Uh, he went from 5% chance to live all the way to what he is now. Oh, Alive, six foot eight. Oh. You find clothes for that. <laughs> Sheesh. There ain't no such thing as big and tall. You need to look up a giant and stuff. But uh, Gabriel has uh, been fixing a lot of my Commodores over the years. Yeah, he says it's the easiest thing to work on. He looked at that and I said, Dad, this is cake. I said, well, apparently I'm eating pie because I don't understand the thing in here. But uh, that's it. Please stop by and pick up a book for $10. Um, I'm still debating whether I want to sell the three at well, four. Four SX-64 is coming up. Um, but uh, that's pretty much uh, all I have to say, sir. Thanks, Leonard. All right. How many Yay. people are bored to death? <laughs> All right. Everybody grab some caffeine. The Commodore Los Angeles Super Show.